Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and today I wanted to demonstrate, well, show and demonstrate a little bit of this uh, script here. You, you you hopefully have found this autocorrect on the forum uh, in documentation. Uh, here you can go in, you can see it's uh, it's got thousands. Actually, let's go back one page. It says uh, about 4,700 common English misspellings. Um, and also, the version online has this Windows H, so you can hit your Windows H key, and it'll pop up with an assist to help you add hot strings to that script. Um, which, while initially I used that, at later, once I got used to hot strings, I really didn't care for having that. I just added them myself. So my version, um, which I'll, I have in this link here, um, no, that's the main one. This is mine. So if you go, uh, and I think I have that open on this other screen. No, I don't. Oh, there we go. Uh, so I just removed that Windows H stuff, uh, and in the bottom of mine, I have some, some of my own things I think I left in here. Yeah, so like T-E-H, I always type T-E-H and it comes out uh, incorrectly, so this will fix it. Uh, so let's actually, let's use a couple of these. That's my screen clipping tool. Let's uh, use this, and let's use Site, because uh, Studio, ironically, just doesn't like hot strings. So if I type O-T space, see it fixed it to two. Let's zoom in some. Um, or if I type F-O space, it fixed it to of. Uh, so again, what's really cool about hot strings and auto hotkey is, of course, any Windows program you're in. So if you're instant messaging from your computer, uh, there's the My Phone app now in Windows 10 that you can easily connect to or if you're using Push Bullet, or if you're using Facebook's Messenger, or, you know, there's so many things now that we type in our computers. Yes, browsers typically, like Chrome, has a built-in spell check, right? And you can right-click and, and fix it. But this fixes it for you. And so for your common mistakes, I think it's a great, easy thing to use. Um, I'll put a, uh, the links in the description here for both of those posts in case you're depending which one you want. Uh, but if you're not using it, I have it running all the time. And it's great because it, uh, it works in every Windows program. Cheers.